Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am setting up my planner for the month. I have some new sheets I need to add into my July section in my planner. I have a whole video of like this whole planner system because it's pieces that I put together from the Happy Planner, some printables that I made myself, some pieces from planners and just different things like that. Um, but I do have a video set up of this planner if you're interested in learning about that. I am all about like the disbound system because I like being able to just like, easily pull things in and out of my planner and it's just very customizable so I like that. So I love using the disbound system, love using the Happy Planner um, products so you'll see a lot of that in my videos. Yeah, I just like to use what I have and this has been working out great. So um, yeah, love how using this planner to set up for the month. And if you watch my cash stuffing videos or if you haven't seen those, um, I always get questions. There's always like maybe like one or two questions about um, my my bills because I don't cash stuff my bills. I like to keep that all in the bank and I account for it though each week before I do my, I get the money out of the bank for my cash stuffing. I do reference this little monthly right here section that I'm about to set up when to figure out how much I'm going to be taking out of the bank because like I said I don't cash stuff any of my bills that all stays in the bank um, but I do account for it for the week so I need to make sure that the week that I'm planning for I keep this money in my account. So I have this little sheet right here that I just kind of it kind of hops around in my planner. Um, it's a little banged up. Probably have to make a new one, but it works. Um, but yeah, this little sheet right here has all of my bills currently right now that I need to account for. It has the day that they usually come out during the month, the name of the bill, and then the amount. Most of these are fixed, so I know how much is coming out. Um, there's only one that's a variable one, so that one I left blank on the amount because that one, like, for instance, this month is going to be more expensive than it was last month because I've been using the air conditioner. So, you know, things like that. I like to just keep track of everything on this little sheet so that way I can map it all out on my monthly section, which I will be sharing how I do that in this video with some fun stickers and just, you know, organizing myself for the month. Um, so that way I know when I get paid, which checks, or sorry, which bills I need to account for for that week before I take money out that I use in my cash stuffing videos. So yeah, for me, this this way of um, keeping track of my bills and keeping it all in the bank, this works for me. My issue has never been paying my bills, so I felt like I really didn't need to cash stuff for it. I always had money, even though like paycheck to paycheck and everything, I always made sure I had money to pay my bills. For me, my issue was always like spending at the stores. So that's why I really like the cash envelope system for myself because I can, I have really um, like just done a better job when it comes to not overspending at the store since I try my best to use cash. Yeah, it's like buying groceries, eating out, um, just like Target shopping trips, which I could leave Target with like a hundred bucks over a hundred bucks in the cart that doesn't happen anymore because I started using this system and I'm just being more accountable when it comes to the money I spend um but yeah that's what I that's what I like about this system is just really helping me to save and um spend accordingly so on this video I'm just going to like I said, set up my monthly, set up my planner pages, and then also I have some things I want to set up in my binders so that way that it's, everything's ready to go for my next cash shipping. So I'm going to put this back in here. So like I said, this um, planner is pieces from the Happy Planner. This is from a planner that I wasn't using. Uh, I'm super fortunate that I do receive product from the Happy Planner. They send me product to... Um, to share and review and all that uh, so and make content with. So I have like extra planners on hand that I'm able to use pieces from. If you're interested in getting one of these, I always have the Happy Planner link down in my description. But if you're looking for something like a cheaper way of getting one of these, this, um, these, this planner, not this particular one, but this planner company, you can find in 
I feel like most stores have the Happy Planner in them. Um, Michael's, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, uh, Staples, uh, Walmart, uh, Target. You can sometimes find it, especially back to school. I think I've even seen them at like CVS. They're, they're everywhere. So if my best recommendation for the cheapest would probably be Joanne because they always have things on sale and they always have coupons. Um, especially right now since these some of the planner, newer planners are starting this month, they're going to be discounted. So if you want to try it out, that's my that's like the cheapest way to get a happy planner. Um, and just test it out to see if you want to use this system. For me it works. I've been using happy planner for years and planning and all that. Uh, if you check out my channel, I have tons of con planning content. Um, so I was just happy that I was able to, you know, use what I know for like this new budget adventure. So I'm just taping down these pages because this is like the planner pages that I don't want to use. So I'm just taping them together. So that way when I flip the page, it doesn't flip to the pages I'm not using, it just flips to this page here. All right, and then um, that's all I use from the planner. I don't use anything else. I don't use the weeklies because I print out my own printables right here. I have a cash planning sheet, so I printed out enough for the month. I have like six sheets that I can use for the month, so that's one sheet for each week. So cash planning, then I have some sinking funds trackers. I made all of this stuff on Canva. Just kind of played around with different elements on there and made my own little trackers. And then um, I have these cash unstuffing sheets. I like these little half sheets. The Happy Planner makes little half sheets stuff. And I like, I felt like I didn't need like a huge, like the whole page. I just needed like a smaller page. That's why I made them half size. But these I like to put towards the beginning over here. And see how easy it is just to like pop everything in. Super easy. So now I'm in my July section right here. I'm gonna pop this out and I'm just gonna start putting down some stickers. So I like to do a little bit of color coding in here uh, just to keep things on track. So I am going to use, I have a Savvy Saver sticker book. I don't know if this one's still available, um, but that's from the Happy Planner. And then I, one of my friends, Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, she creates these box sticker books, which in the planning world, boxes are very, we love boxes because um, we like to write in these and I like to use the boxes in my monthly so that way I can write out all these bills like where they land so first things first we have rent so rent is on the first so I'm gonna put one there so I'm just gonna find a color which one do I have enough of because I'm running out of colors I'm trying to use up all my colors in here and then I can move to a new book <laughs> until I do that I'm gonna continue on in this book Okay, so I have enough of this like bluish color. So I'm gonna put down one here. And then I'm gonna write rent. Okay, and then when I pay rent, I'll just write the amount that I paid. Because technically this isn't, this is a variable one. I just always save 2,400 um, the previous month for my rent. And it's usually about like 2370, 2360. It includes my water, so that's why it always fluctuates each month. But $2,400 and I'm good. But I, that, that's gonna ch probably change because my rent is gonna increase, I think, sometime this month. So, so that should be fun. Love that so much. Uh, my next bill is Cox, which is my internet i was about to say cable i was like that's not cable it's internet i don't have cable all right so this is cox and you know what i'm gonna take these pages out it just makes life a little bit easier to work with them not on the discs okay put that aside all right so we got cox here so that one is 156 for that one but when it comes out of my account so most of my bills are auto pay this is an auto pay bill so when it actually comes out of my account i'll just write it in here once it's paid and then that also helps me to see like make sure like is it 156 28 still sometimes 
like I think Spotify has been saying that it's gonna raise up the price on that. So um, then I can adjust it as I need. I also have some bills like Disney Plus, Canva, um, HBO Max. Those are currently set at annuals, so I have that's why I crossed them out. Um, but eventually I'm gonna have to do, you know, I'm saving currently in my subscription envelope to pay for these. So that would probably be like the only thing I'm saving bill wise, um, just because I wanna have the money ahead of time for next year when my annual subscription expires. And then I can just restart the new annual subscription because it's a lot, it, it's cheaper to go annual than to pay month by month. So that's why I chose to do that. Uh, all right, so next is, so Max, I don't have to worry about that anymore because that one is an annual subscription. Next up is the eighth. And that one is Prime and also Apple. So I need two more of this like teal color. And I'm just gonna stack these on top of each other on the eighth. Oh, you know what? I totally messed up. No, that's fine. I'll leave it. Um, Cause rent, I normally already have that saved. So it doesn't matter what paycheck it's coming out of, but what, let me explain. So I'm gonna go in Savvy Saver, and I have these really cute little icon stickers in here. I actually haven't used these yet. So I'm gonna use these little dollar sign ones right here, because this matches the color, perfect. And I'm gonna put this here. I usually get paid on Tuesdays. So this payday is going to pay for all of the of this color box bills. So let me see, Cox, and then I have Apple and Geico. Okay, so, oh, I messed up, sorry. I have Apple and Prime, my bad. I read that wrong. Prime. Okay, those are the three bills. So, what I do, just so that way you, you, you can get a better understanding, um, is for when I get paid, I look at this monthly to see which bills I need to pay for that this week. So, that's going to be Cox Apple Prime. Okay, so I'm just going to go on my calculator. And I have Cox 156, 28, plus Prime is 16.30, plus Apple is 2.99. So that's 175.57 for that week in bills. So I need to make sure that when I pull money out for cash stuffing, that I leave 175.57 in my bank account because I can't. That needs to stay there so that way all those auto pays can come out and I won't have any like issues um i also put leave like a bit of a buffer in there because i also don't cash stuff gas so gas stays in there usually for me that's about 30 bucks a week so that's another 30 so then i'm at 205.57 that needs to stay in the bank and then i always put like a little bit of a buffer in there in case i want to use um my card to pay for something like say i want to buy something on amazon i can't use cash so i leave like a little bit of a buffer um, so like sometimes like a few hundred dollars in the bank just to make sure I don't, like I can still spend with my card. So then I'll leave like, like let's say like $200 in the bank, plus 200. Oh, this calculator sometimes messes me up. So then that comes out to like 405. So I sh I'm gonna leave 405 in, in the bank and then whatever I have left over, then I'll take that money out and then cash stuff into my envelopes and savings and all that. So that's kind of how I, I use this to help me figure that out. All right, so now that I'm at like Tuesday, which is a new payday, I'm gonna go to a new color and these are gonna be the colors I'm using. So I'll try to find, cause I like to coordinate. Like I said, I like to, you know, Make sure everything goes. So I could do purple. Let's see, do I have enough purple? Let's see if I have enough purple. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so this next color is gonna be purple. Let's get purple. All right, so my next bill is on the 11th. That's 
Geico. Geico. And then I also have SDG and E. So that's my electricity. Uh, it's gas also, but I don't have gas in my place. We don't have gas in our apartment complex. So that's S, D, G, and E. Next is the 15th, which is a Monday. So that's Verizon. And then I also have Zoom. So I need two more purples. Okay. So I have two more on the 15th that I'm going to stack. So that is Verizon and Zoom. Okay, so those are the four bills that I'm going to be paying with this paycheck. So I'm gonna grab a purple, I don't have a purple little, you know, I'm gonna use this little piggy bank. How cute is this little piggy bank? <laughs> He's so cute. So I'm gonna use this little piggy bank here that's going to be where I put my pay. I like to um, put my payday, like how much I got paid here. So I'll put that there. And then so that means this paycheck is going to pay these bills here. All right, next color is, let's see, which color should I do next? Yellow maybe? Do I have yellow? Yeah, I do have yellow. Okay. I guess I can do this bright yellow. Okay, so I have the 16th, which is my dental. So that's gonna go here. Start off this new week, dental. And then my magic key for Disney is on the 19th. 19th. Magic key. And then, okay, I don't have my Disney Plus because I put that in annual. That one is good till next year. The 22nd is rent insurance. So I have one more. Rent insurance on the 22nd. Okay, so this yellow week, I have three paydays. I'm going to grab a little yellow dollar sign sticker. That's my payday. All right, oops, and I did it right here. Rent insurance. All right, cool. All right, and then I have just two more bills left for the end of the month, and that is on the 24th. So this one's gonna be a new color. So let me see what color I have. Let's see, I did it purple, maybe green? Yeah, green. All right, so we'll do this green here. So I have the 24th and the 30th. So right here, and one more. The 30th here. So the 24th is Spotify and Adobe on the 30th. All right, and then I'm just going to grab a green little, I guess I'll do the little piggy bank. And that is the payday here. And then there's actually five paydays. Um, so I'm going to add another little payday sticker here. I'll do the orange one. Oh, my bad. I messed up. This is actually a new payday. So this one, this one's a fun week. So this is a new payday. So I need an orange sticker. Let me get an orange sticker. Didn't realize that. I'm mean, just always there being like five, uh, four paydays. Okay, do I have orange? Yes, I have one orange. Okay, good. Okay, so there was the 30th for Adobe. So these two last paydays will only have one bill, which is really cool because um, these are really low amounts for my bills. So this this 20, this 20 payday right here, this green one, is only going to pay Spotify. That's my only bill coming out this week. And then, oh no, I lie. This one's going to pay for... Like the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it's actually going to pay, not not rent, well, part of rent. 
um, but Cox, that's the one. So the green one's the only one that has like one bill and that one, so that's pretty cool. This orange one is Adobe. So there's five paydays this week. So this is like a magic month for me. So that's really cool. One, two, three, four, five. Um, because for my rent, because it's so much, I do split my my paychecks up, like taking an amount each week. Usually I take like three fifty a week from my paycheck and put that into um, savings, and then I take some other money from like some social social media income that and I put that into savings to add up to the 2400 so that means this month I won't have to do as much from my full-time paycheck because it's split up into five so I look forward to that <laughs> so that's pretty good all right so that's it for how I set up my monthly all right so that's 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 what it's looking like so far and I'm just gonna put this oops back in here okay so that is it for the planner part of this video now I'm gonna go into my envelope or my binders because I have some binders in here or envelopes sorry that um the trackers are a little bit filled like they're yeah they have like two they're too much filled down here so I'm just going to replace some of these if they need it. Let's see, those look good though. This one is fully funded, so I'm not gonna be tracking on that anytime soon, but this one, like Road Trip, has like only a couple lines right here. So I'm just gonna do a new little tracker. Um, so this one actually has a balance of 53 in here. That one aside, put this new one in here. All right, Sensi's good. That one's good. I'm gonna do treat yourself because this one's almost full. So this one has is this 192. I cannot read my writing. I think I I should have used white out. So let me count it. 150, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92. Okay, 192. Yeah, I must have wrote 182 and then I realized it's 192. And I wrote over it and it just looks, couldn't tell which one it was. All right, so that one's good. And then I'm gonna go in here. I also plan on having an unstuffing video of my savings challenges. I'll go over that in a little bit. I'll do that in another video with beauty is almost full too, so I'm gonna do a new one for this one. So the beauty has $14. Ooh, content definitely needs one. I'm writing on the back of it. Oops. Okay, so content has 59. Goes good, that one's good. Oh, household. Household has sixty seven. Go to Target, too. Target. Alright, cool. Oh, I also have some in my wallet because I've been spending, I'm shopping with some of them right now. So let me look at my wallet, which might be a little bit of a mess. We'll see. I always have like receipts, like, oh yeah, I do. Oh, geez. Let's see. Is this? Oh, that's okay. I was missing a receipt, but that's not the receipt I was looking for. Okay, so these are good because I don't have crackers. Clothing is good. That one's good. Gifts is good. Fun. Oh, you know what else I want to do? I kind of want to change my wallet. I might do that in this video. Okay. Fun has 55. K 
Okay, I'll do family. I have nothing. I depleted these. I went, I went and had fun and hung out with my family this weekend, so these got depleted. 56. Oh, what am I doing? These have zero. Oops. I hadn't updated these, so that's why. Zero. Okay. Zero, zero, zero. Disney is good. Okay, that one's good. All right, so I think I'm gonna change my wallet. Oh, and I'm also gonna take these receipts and I'm gonna scan them into Fetch. If you're not familiar with Fetch, it is an app where you can scan your, your receipts, take pictures of them, and then uh, you get points, and then those points turn into gift cards. So if you join, use my code. It's my co I always have my code down in the description. Uh, depending on the prom like the promotion, sometimes they offer like a lot of points uh, when you first sign up, and if you use a code, you'll get points. I'll get points, which is really cool. So yeah, if you're not already, make sure to sign up. Just scanning these. Like I have these Disney receipts, all of this counts, so you can scan that. But yeah, I'm thinking of just switching my wallet out um, because I have the wallets that I'm, I will be restocking these, it's just right now, they're not currently restocked. But I think I wanna switch my wallet to the black, because why not? This one's really pretty. So we'll switch this over. I love this wallet because it's just been, holding up really well and like the quality is really good like I'm super happy with this wallet I've been using it for a while and I know a lot of people wanted to get this wallet and thankfully I was able to sell a good amount um but I sold out really fast <laughs> they were super popular so I'm gonna restock and there's like a new color I'm gonna get so so yeah that's exciting I'm gonna move my cards over not in the video because I don't want to share all my info, but I'm going to be using this wallet from now on. Well, for now, now I can switch it up, but this one's so pretty, this black. Okay, so the wallet's nice and set up. And then the last thing I'm going to do, oh, I still need to go in here. I think I have a tracker. Okay, that tracker's good. Um, I, as I mentioned, I'm going to unstuff this in another video. I'm going to have an end of the month unstuffing to see how much I have saved in my savings challenges because I'm just going to start these all over and I've been liking seeing that like that amount just to see how much I'm actually saving by doing this um so and it's kind of encouraging to see that so the only thing I want to do though is I want to I'm just going to put I'm going to put this take this and just pick out my new challenge this is the new July challenge because when I cashed up in my next video it will be with this little trucker here um, this is from my friend, uh, Plan with Elise's Etsy shop. I just printed them out on paper. Okay, so this will be the next challenge, and then I need to pick the next, like my my colors, the pens I'm going to use for this challenge because I like to figure that out too. All right, so this one's going to go in the front. This one I'm done with. I was like one off from finishing this, but did pretty good with that challenge for June. Okay, let me get my colors. Okay, I like to use these like little sparkly ones. And I'm thinking I wanna do like a pink or something. A little pink ice cream maybe? Yeah, why not? Okay, let me get one of these trackers just to make sure like this pen works. Or if I like that color. Do I like that color? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, and then I just put, I have this little pouch, this is from Mappy Planner 2, where I keep my pens. And I'm gonna put, this is the one I used for this challenge, I'm not gonna use it anymore, so I'm just gonna put it back in here. So I'm not using that yellow, and then I'm gonna be using pink. So I'll put that in here. This has all of my, like the, the markers, the Sharpies I use, my dice are in here. So all the things are, so it's just handy to have it organized that way for me, especially for filming purposes. Um, okay, but that's it. That's my savings binder 
And that is it for this video. All right, so that's my little setup for July. Um, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you leave, leave a comment if you have any questions. Not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do put out content like every single day. So there's, a, there's always something to watch on my channel. And if you want to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's free, so that's always that's always very good. Um, and it helps out my channel, so I'd appreciate it. But yeah, thank you so much. I will hopefully see you in the next video.